friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be filming a video about how to manifest your dream life. Are you wanting to manifest your dream life and are you wanting to accomplish all of the goals that you have set for yourself but you are stuck in the road or you don't know what is going on, why you're at a halt, why your goals are not getting accomplished? Well, today I'm going to give you guys five practical tips to manifest your dream life. I know that these tips are efficient and that they work because I have used them on myself and I have seen results from these tips. So make sure to subscribe down below if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up because I would love for you guys to support my channel and make sure to leave any video requests in the comments down below if you have any and just subscribe because I would love for you guys to stick around and see more self-improvement videos. My first tip is to make mood boards. I have mood boards for everything, okay? I have a mood board right now for my winter mood board because I do suffer from seasonal depression and I want to have this aesthetic mood board that will help me and like provide me with a little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration to get me through the winter because sometimes I just don't wanna do anything in the winter. Sometimes I don't feel like getting up out of bed like this this mood board is going to give you inspiration and motivation and discipline to get your butt up and out of bed and get your goals set. I also have a mood board for the Q1 of 2025, so the first three months of 2025. Those are the most important months of the year in my opinion, Q1 and Q4, because it's the beginning and the end of the year. I set goals on Notion and I have different categories of the goals that I want to set and they're bigger goals. And I have a tip for you guys later on that will help you about those goals and how to accomplish those goals. But setting bigger goals is essential. And once you set those goals, and you know what your goals are then you want to make your mood boards according to those goals so that you know that you have inspiration and discipline to achieve those specific goals my second tip is scripting scripting is basically a journal method where you write your journals out and you you write it out as if you already have your dream line so i'm going to give you guys some prompts and they're going to be right here the prompts are how does she dress what does her work week look like what happens in her free time what does she spend time with how is her health what is her income streams i always like to aim for four income streams or more and then what are her expenses? Those are the prompts and make sure to journal those out, pause this video, journal, and then come back to the video for the other tips. My third tip, make a physical vision board, like a vision board on like a big poster or a big canvas and you have pictures and you have words and you have decorations to like kind of like manifest your vision and like what you want your dream life to be like. I feel like if you just do it on Pinterest for a vision board, it's not 100% accurate because you have a bunch of pictures, but if you print those off and you do it physically, I feel like you are physically setting those manifestations into place. That's how I feel, okay? When you are physically doing something with your hands and you have that process in your mind, you have the mindset that you are going to achieve those goals, that is when you are going to achieve them. When you're creating that vision board and you are putting all the pictures and all of the words on your board and you're just physically doing it, that's when you're gonna achieve your goals because you are physically manifesting things into place. My fourth tip, live as if you already have your dream life and that you have accomplished all of your goals. So if you wanna be a full-time content creator, that is great, okay? Live like a full-time content creator already create YouTube videos, have a YouTube channel, have an Instagram account, have a TikTok and make videos consistently, make a schedule, treat it like a full-time job and not as a hobby. If you want this to eventually be your full-time job, then treat it like a job and not a hobby. Because if you treat it like a full-time job, it will eventually be manifested into becoming your full-time job and that is what you want. My last and fifth tip is to set up monthly goals that are attainable that you can use to, that will add up to achieve your bigger goals that you set at the beginning of the year. So reverting back to the beginning of this video when I was telling you guys set yearly goals and your one spread on Notion. When you have those yearly goals mapped out, then you're going to set your monthly goals and you're going to set those goals according to those yearly goals that you set. Meaning you're going to set goals like smaller ones ones to achieve those larger goals and that's what I love about planning and writing out your goals is because you have the option to achieve all of those big goals but if you just have the goals written out and you don't have any smaller goals set to achieve those bigger goals you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're gonna get upset when you don't achieve them and that's when you're not manifesting things into place because you're just like oh whatever I don't even want to do that because I don't know what I'm doing setting smaller goals to achieve those bigger goals is really important basically breaking those bigger goals down into little bitty chunks to achieve them completely that's what I would recommend so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe down below, like this video, leave any video requests, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.